Show me the numbers. We're that talking about that the Atlanta Braves was gonna baseball, win. Baseball, not football. That the that the Atlanta Braves was gonna win the World Series. You knew they were gonna win. Win. So where where where's the issue? Where's the where's the doubt? Uh, oh, oh. What's good, young world? It's your boy, Mr. Orlin, and that's your girl, Miss Say Yes. What up, Miss Say Yes? Hey. I'm super duper excited for this week because it's week 46. I I graduated from 46 elementary school. What was the name of your elementary school? I went to Stoneview. Those of you that are familiar with outside of the metropolitan area of Atlanta, I went to Stoneview Elementary School. Shout out, shout out number 46, Rochester, New York, 585, stand up. Before we move on, go any further, I want to make certain that everybody knows that this week's episode is sponsored by FAMU1887.com. Y'all know the gear that we be rocking. You want some t-shirts, you want some FAMU swag, and if you are from the 850, or if you represent or ever wanted to represent the 850, FAMU1887.com, I like guarantee you will enjoy everything that you see on there if you like orange and green. So, Miss A.S., yeah, make sure your people go shop. There's some dope stuff on there. Will do. I'm just giving y'all a breakdown of what we got coming from the faith report and then the fitness report. Miss Say Yes, I, I think you got some meditation going on today. Like, what, what you got going for the for the fitness report? Okay, so I had a um, request from one of our viewers that they want to hear something about meditation. So I'm going to give you some meditation tips. Mmm, meditate. So we go. We about to be on our Zen tip, like. Mwah. Yeah. Nom your ring cool. <laughs> See, you, you, you got me started. Somebody break it. <laughs> well, yeah, we will be on our zen, zen tip today. Okay, okay. Week 46. You know, if you just popped in, thank you. Make certain you hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and if you're getting any value from this, make certain that you share it with at least one person. So today, what we are going to talk about, drum roll, please. Thank you. Oh my god! I didn't know that I was supposed to be the one to to drop in that. So week forty six is gonna be plan for success. Hey, do we, we only got one scripture this week. Miss say yes. I say that, but I'm, I'm probably not telling all of the truth. But Matthew six thirty three. Matthew 6, 33. And I got four tips that I'm gonna break down for you. Number one, define the goal. Number two, always evaluate. Number three, success comes through systems. And number four, he's calling us to obey. This week, it's going down in a major way. Looking forward to seeing all of the excitement, Miss Say Yes, everything we got going on. Do we have any prayer requests? I've had some, I've actually had a couple of friends hit me up. Y'all, don't judge me, okay, for some of the stories. And Miss Ayers, don't judge me for some of the stories that I'm going to share today. And I'm going to share continually about my friends. I, Jesus had a large group of friends and an interesting group. And I, myself, have a very interesting group of friends. Mm -hmm. And you listening to this, you're my friend and you're our friend. If you have any prayer requests... You want us to pray? You want us to add you into the prayer? Faith Fitness and Flow Podcast. Send us a DM and Instagram. We got y'all. All right? So, Miss Say Yes. Do you, yeah. do you got any special? Your, your dog, you got the dog with you today. My dog made a special appearance. He he loves love like his mother. So. Goodness. Y'all see, I, 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 I don't take the screen off of. The hugs and the love. That's just, it is what it is podcasters i took the screen off miss say yes for 30 seconds and she brought the whole dog into the screen my job understand i work in clinical research and he makes zoom appearances and they love him he's a co-worker so it is what it is okay. he's a he's, he's my dog son look i like that type of dog my grandma we used to have a dog like that in our family his name was pierre okay. shout out to pierre he, all dogs go to heaven, so he, he's in okay. he's in he's in doggy heaven. Shout out to Pierre! I know everybody right now like, oh, he shouted out Pierre. Yeah, that's so sweet. 
Well, you so, guys have to meet Prince Xerxes, and he is a toy poodle, and he is Joy. Okay. King Xerxes? Prince Xerxes. Prince Xerxes. All right, you know what? Shout out to the prince. How about we go to the prince in prayer for 46 prayer, 52nd <laughs> week. Is it cool with you, Miss Say Yes, that we yes, go to the Lord in prayer? Listening. He's ready for prayer. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We appreciate your attention to our Saturday evening. We appreciate your attention. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for setting the tone. We thank you for having a plan for success. We thank you for giving us instructions like you did in Matthew 6, When you say, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. We thank you, Father God, for forgiving us for our sins. We thank you, Father God, for even when we've been distant for a while, when we come back, you are ready to hear us. This week, dear Lord, help set us on a path that we can be motivated, that we can be inspired, and that we can see, feel, and identify success. Success is all around us. We just need the right systems to identify it. And we thank you for identifying our success in week 46 of 52. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Woo! Jack Hale says, success is on the same road as failure, Miss Ayers. Success is just a little further down the road. So number one, for those that are taking those that are taking notes, for number one on the faith report, what I would like for you to do right now, define the goal. Miss say yes, you gotta define the goal. And, and can we, I, I really miss say yes. The podcasters, y'all listening, my YouTubers, y'all lean in and watching. But Miss say yes, I really wanna have this conversation with you, right? And I want everybody else to listen in, and then I want them to have this conversation with their buddies, their friends, their coworkers, their, even they, I don't even really rock with you. <laughs> You said success down yonder. Look, success down yonder. <laughs> Who said success down yonder? You. I didn't. Oh, look. <laughs> look at you turning into a southerner. All right. Anyway, like I said, define the goal. That's the first okay. thing. When we're talking about preparing for success. All right. <laughs> what? I am really, hold up. What is, talk, talk to me. I, I'm lost. No, go ahead. <laughs> y'all, y'all tell me. All right, when y'all watch this, leave it in the comment. Let me know what is it that I'm saying. That, that was funny. That was funny. Go ahead. Okay, define the goal. I'm 100. <laughs> Can I say define the goal? Which word was it? Yes, right. yes. I want to ask you, right? So we're planning for success, right? Mm -hmm. This week. We talked about it last week. People are ready to just throw in the towel with mm -hmm. 2021. They're just ready to start 2022. There's nothing wrong with that. But we mm -hmm. in 2021 planning. Yes. We can plan so that way, again, if you are living in today, yes. you cannot prepare for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So what can we do? The first thing, and this is actually in order, right? So we're planning for success. A lot of people, you hear it all the time. First thing you gotta do is you gotta define the goal. Mm -hmm. What does success look like to you? All right. So if we're talking about the Faith, Fitness, and Flow podcast, our mission is to inspire lovers of the hip hop culture to find one's life scripture. And we use Faith, Fitness, and Flow as the way that we do that. So the way that we would define success is by we get an email and someone says, yo, my life scripture is, is, is 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. Yo, mm -hmm. we win. Right. Mission accomplished. But if we don't know that and somebody sends us that email, have we hit success yet? 
Of course. I mean, it's not about the, the feedback necessarily. But no, I'm saying if nobody ever, if we had no way of knowing right. what the goal was, if we didn't define right. the goal, like, we lost. So, for example, talking about losses, right? Um, shout out to you. Matter of fact, this was, I'm going off script, so hopefully I stay there. So shout out to you, Miss Say Yes. Shout out to everybody in the Atlanta, the 404, what is it, 770. <laughs> shout out to everybody that claimed them Atlanta Braves. Shout out to the new World Series champs, the Atlanta Braves. Ooh, she's been in a good mood all day. <laughs> so that's why she's laughing at anything. Like everybody talks to Atlanta, you can't tell them nothing right now. Yeah. So if we're it's looking at the Atlanta Braves. Epic. I can't wait. At the beginning of the season or in the off season, how yeah. did they define a successful season? Right. Was it winning the World Series? Mm-hmm. Or bus? Was it going to the playoffs? Was mm-hmm. it, you know, from a team goal? So they had to define the goal. They might have superseded their uh, goals by hitting the World Series. They might have just said, we want to get to the to the wild card or make the playoffs mm-hmm. and don't be a wild card team. That might have been their thing. So they had a goal, they hit their goal. Now they, boom, now that they hit the goal, they charged up. Like you say, man, we show me the numbers. We're like talking about that the Atlanta Braves was gonna baseball, win. Baseball, not football. That the that the Atlanta Braves was gonna win the World Series. You knew they were gonna win, win. So where where where's the issue? Where's the where's the doubt? When did you say that they was gonna win? Oh, I knew in the beginning when my mom had already said that they won. In the beginning, and I was like, Mom, they have the some more games they need to play. They did. They only played one game, and so she was like, "Oh, you're right." But no, they won in my eyes because my mom never says stuff like that. She's she's like, "Oh, they suck" or whatever. You know, not not the Braves, you guys, but you know, like other teams. So you're so talking. I'll say that you know, I I had a great feeling that they were going to win. Come on now. We, we needed of the series this. is what you mean. We, we needed this. And I need for you to allow us to bask in our success. Always a hater. Always a northerner. All right, I'm going to talk about Candace Parker now, y'all. Let's look at Candace Parker. She was with the Los Angeles Lakers. And she decided to go home. She was like, you know what? LA is cool, but... What does that have to do with the Braves winning? We're not... We're not talking about the Braves. I just we are talking about the Braves. All about the Braves all weekend. All right. So congratulations to the world champion Atlanta Braves. I love you. All right. There you go. You got another. Say yes. It's rocking with you. I am a Georgia Peach. Continue about the who. So as I was explaining, Candace Parker, Mm -hmm. y'all. Y'all know Candace Parker, one of the best female WNBA or basketball players. We'll just say one of the baddest basketball players in the world. Because she'll get okay. anybody that smoke. She left the um the Sparks mm-hmm. team that drafted her. She won her first championship with. And okay. she had faced free agency, meaning she had an opportunity to decide where she wanted to play. Oh, awesome. She decided she was gonna go home and played for her home franchise, the Chicago Sky. So first year, Lil Rocky, the team went 16 and 16, 500. You know, they got some good players, they had some really good players, but the team has been up and down, never won championship. They've been, I think, uh, once or twice, mm-hmm. ever. They get Candace Parker, a future Hall of Famer. In their first year, they win the WNBA 2021 Championship. Congratulations. When Candace Parker left, her goal was to bring a championship to her home city. She was right. raised right outside of Chicago in Naples, Illinois. So she knew she was able to define the goal. She wouldn't have been able to hit the goal if she actually didn't define it. So now, all right, let's bring this, let's bring this home to you and I. Let's bring this home to, you know, non-superstars. People got millions and millions and millions in their bank account. Or non-superstars. access to. Non-superstars. 
speak for no, yourself. Superstars that don't currently have. We were talking about, you know, the world's the Braves, a billion dollar company, uh, Candace speak Parker, for a multi millionaire. So, speak for yourself. Okay, go ahead. My bad. Let me hold something down. Look. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you, you, you want to sponsor the whole, listen, y'all see, she holding out, y'all. She holding out on me, y'all. But anywho, yes, if yes, you're making yes. your social media campaign, right? Uh -huh. A lot of us, we know we got to do it. You're like, ah, I don't want to be on here. I got to figure out my content. Got to do this. Got to do that. What's mm -hmm. that? What promotion? Mm -hmm. How are you defining success? Is it having everything pre-written out at least for a week ahead? Okay. Is it having it a month ahead? Is it just making all of the captions? But first, you got to define success. Because if you don't define success, then you won't ever know when you hit your goal. Right. Why did David only take a slingshot and a rock? Mm, good question. He already defined the goal. He knew. Yeah, this giant is big, but he don't wear no headgear. I, I fight lions, tigers, and bears, and I make them say, oh, my. So, therefore, so therefore <laughs> if I know this big joker, if I take this rock and I hit him right here in his forehead, it's over for him. Mm -hmm. So he ain't need nothing else. He had, he defined the goal. Knock him out before he can swing and hit me. <laughs> How do you do that? Get your rock, get your slingshot from a distance before he's even ready. You've executed the plan. I mean, you've executed the plan to execute the goal. You won, hand down, man down. It's over. I love it. So let me say this. I, I really believe that things that are tracked can be improved. Mm -hmm. Whether it's your gas mileage. <laughs> Whether it's practice hours, you know, 10,000 hour rule, or even what we talked about last week, self-care. Mm -hmm. So number two, you need to always evaluate. When you're planning for success, you have to always evaluate. The moment you stop learning, you start losing. I'm gonna say that for those that were in the back, just in case you... The moment you stop learning, you start losing. Mm. When last time you learned something new, Miss A.S.? All the time. Don't start with me. You know, Miss A.S. is busy. She's always learning. She's always growing. Cultivating. What's happening to you? Hold up. What's wrong, man? They, they treat you kind of bad up there. You, you've been biting the day, man. What's, what's going on, y'all? I'm not biting at all. I'm actually oh, in an amazing oh, mood. Oh, I Thank forgot. Yeah, today. I said I talked about Atlanta earlier. That Don't do that. Don't do that. She's in an amazing mood. <laughs> Talking I'm about, I, I growing, know, though. I'm always growing. I'm always evaluating. Thank you. See, I asked you this because I already knew the answer. It was like one of those, oh, you are you going to try me? Asking? I already know the answer is yes. I know. I can say it. Like, evaluation is a great thing. Mm -hmm. Notice I didn't say a good thing. No, no, it's, it's a great thing. <sighs> Little brown boys that look like me, we've been taught or we've been um, hurt and we feel like, Anytime we've been through an evaluation, we don't end up on the good side. For example, they tell us this thing called a standardized test. That's an evaluation. We felt pressured. We felt attacked. Okay? Because all of us didn't perform well during that. Right. So we got to the point, anytime you use the word evaluation, because we got older, we made it to a job, and they said it was time for evaluation. And then the little brown boys like me that was super educated, you know, it didn't always come back in our favor. Right. But, but, <laughs> there it is. But God said, evaluation is a great thing. One of the reasons I say it is great, it helps us ID areas that we can delegate to others. I know you wasn't expecting that one, y'all. Because if I understand my limitations and my capabilities, and I understand what I'm good at, that's what I want to put my energy to. Like, it sucks. Y'all, again, we need some interns, all right? So Faith, Fitness, and Flow podcast at gmail.com. If you are looking for an intern, if social media is your thing, if editing is your thing, 
we need you. And we got an internship for you. Because, you know, I gotta put my hat on, we gotta do that. I gotta be the editor, gotta be the producer, we gotta be the creator, uh, the problem solver. Like, when you got all these different hats on, and you're only one human being, when do you have time to live? When do you have a time to enjoy all of this success that we are preparing for now that we're gonna have in 2022? Oh, you find time. You find time. You'll find the time. But are you really going to enjoy the time? But then again, if you have to find the time, are we really living or is the world living us? <laughs> Yeah, I said it like that on purpose. So we have to always evaluate. And I got a scripture for you for that too. Just in case you don't believe me, Miss A.S. That's what I'm talking about. I'm probably lying when I said this or not telling the truth. Lamentations 340 says, let us examine our ways and test them and let us return to the Lord. <laughs> say that in the Bible. Let us examine our ways and test them. When you're examining, you let us examine our ways and then you got to test them. So fellas, yes, fellas, to my interpretation, and this is, this is why you come right to the Faith, Fitness, and Flow podcast, right? Because you can't ask this question in church. You can't be in Bible study and ask this. <laughs> People going to judge you. Trust me, I know. I've done it. Lamentations 340, let us examine our ways. So you trying to figure out how you want a girlfriend. You got your eye on the prize. You want that number. You got a plan. In order to get her, well, the first thing I need to do is get her number. In order to get her number, I have to ask her. In order to ask her, I have to get in position. What am I saying? Number one, define the goal. <laughs> Let's get her numbers. We had to plan out what we're going to do to get there. You evaluated what's been working and what hasn't been working, right? You hadn't really had everything in place. So you got to examine your ways. Am I being too aggressive? Mm. Am I being too nice? Am my is stuff in my teeth? Do my breath stink? Should I have a peppermint and, and, and some chocolate? Should I start out with compliments? Or maybe not too hard? We have to examine and then test them out. The Bible says it, not, not, not Mr. All In. Lamentations 340 is telling us, fellas, get to shooting, man. Just practice your form. See what's... <laughs> shooting, okay. Practice your form, okay? And when you get a good form, you know what to do. So what happens when you get this good, this good woman? When you get your good what look, that's a whole nother. The Bible says, he who finds him a, a wife, finds him a good thing. So he knows, look, wifey material. Uh, I mean, like this, you grab one and you be like, hey, I got one. So it's on site, right? You, you find her and then you're good, right? Me personally, I don't know. That's a good question. How would I, let me see. If In that case, mm -hmm. if I am examining my ways, Again, I would know what I want. So it's like, listen, if that's the one that I want, this is what I got to do. Right. You make a plan. But if you ain't got no plan, fellas, perk, that was a good question. Because if you ain't got no plan, fellas, and then the girl, and then you shooting, you just shooting, right? Or, mm -hmm. hey, ladies, I got y'all. I ain't going to leave y'all alone. Because y'all be shooting. Miss say yes, y'all be shooting. You ladies now. Go ahead. Come on. What you got Y'all be shooting in the gym, too. You know what I mean? Y'all like, listen, you run the one, I run the two. This is a give and take, right? But if the dude went into the game, he ain't got no plan, and next thing you know, she like, uh, she get a no-look assist back, and you get hit in the face like, oh, I was not ready for that pass. Yo, she is a... Fellas, she gonna realize that you wasn't there. Ladies, look, you gotta make a decision. Examine your ways. Do you want it? Is he a project? Somebody, something that you can help, you know, you could turn him into Barack because you Michelle. Or is he, um, uh, it's a you, lot of Michelles. Ooh, or is he Safari and you serious. gotta kick him to the streets because he it's, ain't no good? It's, it's a lot of Michelles and it's few Baracks. We're gonna, we gonna stick with that today. No, no, no. I think you must have missed that. <laughs> you must have, you misunderstood. So let me break that down. Okay. I hope misunderstood that one. When I say, see, ladies, Michelle, you are Michelle. 
You are Michelle. You are the power. I, where am I? I wish I knew how to. I do. Right here. Let me. Mm. Let me. There we go. You <laughs> are Michelle. <laughs> you have the power. Okay. For my hip hop heads, I think, I believe Jay Z, we're just going to say Jay Z. I don't know if y'all want to. It's somebody else on that song, so never mind. But hip hop heads, you have the power. Women. You are Michelle Barack. I was trying to figure, remember his middle name. Obama, the 44th president of the United States of America. <laughs> Would be nothing, nothing, and I said nothing without, without his Michelle. Absolutely. So ladies, I am saying that you are the Michelle and you make the man. I don't care what nobody say. And I ain't even saying this just because I got a female co-host. Just nah, 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 nah. Any successful man will let you know if he's happy, he got him a successful woman behind him. He might got all the money, but if he's single, that Negro, nigglet, whatever he color he may be, <laughs> he ain't happy. I promise you that much. You got me all the way off. All right, all right, all right. Let, let, let me bring this thing. Let me bring this on. Hey, 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 you got me. See, you. what just happened here is what happened the other day. I was watching the uh, Nikki and Moose podcast. Actually, I was watching um, It's Nikki's Instagram the other day, live. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. she was just really having an a open change. Like, this is off of what you talking about. And that's what you just made me do. So I was listening to Nikki and Moose podcast, and in this podcast, the person that I was actually listening to was Connie S. Fall, and the S is for systems, right? But they were having, you could tell they friends because they was having mm -hmm. like a real off, off, this had nothing to do with what her brand is. And, okay, all right. Tangent, tangent coming, we already went on tangent, I'm gonna just let y'all know. So. God has been telling me, Miss Sayes, for the longest. I said I was going to say this was my friend, but it's me. I ain't even going to lie to y'all. Miss Sayes got me telling the truth, y'all. So, God has given me this assignment that I've been supposed to do for the longest. And I was reading this book, and uh, it's called The Morning Miracle. And we'll get into that one. Listen, I'm working on some stuff, so I don't want to get too much into that. But Morning Miracle, look it up, talks about some things that you should do. Uh, to be successful, start your day. Be more successful before 9 a.m. before most people do. Accomplish more before 9 a.m., 8 a.m. before most people um, actually wake up and start their day. I ain't did it. I'm supposed to set up these different systems for like my text message and email so stuff just flows. I'm supposed to set up my, this is what you do at this time, this is what you're supposed to do at this time, this is what you're supposed to do at this time, right? I have a schedule, but it's more working hours. God, I'm telling me, no, I need... I need your time. Like there's 24 hours in a day. I need it mapped out. So that detail. And I've been running from it. So when I was listening to the Nicki Moose podcast and Connie S. Fall, she specializes in systems. And it's like, uh, y'all seen the um oh Miss Say Yes. You seen the the reel where it start out where they just be like, wah, 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 and just be smacking the heck out of you. Mm -hmm. Okay, woo, I thought you ain't see it. I was talking about that one of those moments. <laughs> um, that's what I felt like while I was watching this podcast. Like, I am getting kicked up and down, down and right, right and down. Systems. So those who want to write it down, number three, systems increase success. That's all I kept hearing. Systems increase success I think I got that <clears throat> so let me ask you what are you evaluating just is there anything in your life that you're evaluating I am all right so you do have something <laughs> in your life that you are evaluating yes something amazing what yeah. do you have a system in place to help you Evaluate. I'm working on it. Okay, okay. So, 
here's what, again, we're defining, I mean, we're planning for success. When you're planning for success, number three that I need you to do, I need you to understand that systems increase success. Because one, you understand exactly what you're evaluating. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, all right, this system helps me see that there is a problem in production on this step. This system lets me know that my clients, well, this system lets me know that I'm failing to follow up with my clients after they make a purchase 30 right. days later. Right. You know what I'm saying? So also with your systems, it helps you, it helps you know what social proof. Well, it helps, uh, let me get that better. Let me rephrase that. It helps you identify the social proof of your business and your life and your job. You have the social proof that it's working. I jotted down everything that I do. So here's the question. This one was a good one. Um, Ms. Fall says she goes around and she asks this question. This is something I'm going to start adopting when we go in. Shout out to uh, what it is. Connie S. Fall and S is for systems. This is like, I guess that's my, whatever. Okay. Miss Say Yes, I'll put you on the hot seat. Wrap it up. Oh, ask okay. Ask a question. Everybody else that's listening, I want y'all to ask, answer along, either with Miss Say Yes, cut this volume down and you answer, but I'll wave so you'll know when we're coming out. All right, we'll see if she got it right. So, Miss Say Yes. Mm-hmm. Hi. We are in a building. Yes. All right, we're in a building, we're in a house, whatever. Walk me through the system. System, <laughs> for those who don't understand, is steps, okay, to starting your car. We're in the building. Correct. Are we getting ready to leave this building? Is the car outside? Is it in? Like we are on set. We're on set. We're okay. on set. Shooting podcast. Okay. On set shooting podcast. How do you start your car? Um, if I'm leaving set, I would walk outside and and go to my car. Right, and then I would approach my car, um, use the remote to <laughs> unlock the door. I would get in and close the door, and then I would start the car. Those are the steps. I got one question. What, car, what type of car are you driving? It depends on what kind of car miss say yes wants to drive for the uh, day. Uh, 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 <laughs> the one that you were describing what type of car was it i would be driving a jeep or say a jeep that day. okay so you missed a step you never opened the door i said that i would no no you said you would open you would hit the button to unlock yeah. the doors yeah you then said you would get in the car yeah how you got in the car? Do it just oh, open okay. up? Okay. Do I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. I so it's myself, right. Right. So I was like, oh, most most of y'all asked y'all said y'all give me say yes round applause. I did good. That was great. Whatever. I, honestly, Miss <laughs> uh, Miss Fall said most people, she's like 90 percent of the people don't even mention how to get out of the building. Okay. Like, so that was amazing that you even gave that. So I'm asking y'all, if y'all did this yourselves or you were thinking it, thinking it in your head and did this project, did you walk outside? Did you, did you at least hit that step? Did you talk about you gotta open the door? You did say close the door. That's why it got me. You was like, you get in, close the door. Or you said hit the button. No, I think you actually said hit the button, get yeah, in the we'll car. Yeah, hit the button. Hit yeah, the we'll button, hit the car. start the car. Start the car, right. It's like, Boop. Is it? That's why I asked what car because you could have hit the button and it went up. <laughs> it depends on what car I want to drive for today. You know I mean? So that's a cool little thing that we we can ask for, but you got to have that social proof. Um, systems mm -hmm. free up your personal time because just now you broke down every instruction of how we get from set to your car. Right. You know without a doubt that you can get somebody from set to your car. You don't have to now go run and get your uh, umbrella because it's raining outside. Right. 
I can give you here. Look, here's the instructions. Let's go. Let's move. Let's do that. Yeah. But if you ain't got no system, how do you free up your time? One of the biggest okay. curses. So what's that, the point? One of the <laughs> biggest curses that most people don't think about is systems increase sales. I cannot return a hundred emails. I could do a thousand emails and eh, ten thousand emails. Houston, we have a problem. Mm-hmm. More money, more problems. If we're gonna prepare for success. Let's think about this. Isn't this is the big one? Systems increase sales. I mean, systems increase success. So if you want to increase success, you want a new level, you want to get it up there. What if I just told you if you make a system for what you're doing in your business? Mm -hmm. your job Mm -hmm. or even your life your success will increase now you might say where in the bible do we talk about systems Mr. Orlin you made this up this is just something y'all trying to in the bible it tell you how to pray don't it it does it tells you specifically the posture it talks about getting in knees it talks about being on bent knees Almost face, face prone, what is it? Pronated to the ground. All right, so another spot where we talk about systems in the Bible. They had like a specific time that they had to pray. They had like a specific sp- position they had to pray in. So like, I'm just letting y'all know, I, the more I read and I'm looking for stuff, Miss A.S., I see systems. Mm-hmm. And when the people follow the system, they have success. Mm-hmm. So this thing that people got master classes and they teaching all of this, like all they doing is teaching concepts that they don't broke down and learned that look, it's in the Bible. It's probably in the Quran. It's probably in, I don't know. I don't know. I, I like to talk about the Bible. I'm just a ratchet Christian that look at stuff in a weird way. So I don't know. Y'all, y'all let me know. Faith Fitness and Flow podcast on Instagram. Y'all leave me a comment. How do y'all feel about this system's increase in success and if it can be found in the Bible? Okay. So I got one more thing though, right? Right. We're preparing for success. What if I told you that God is not always calling you to succeed? Right. How would you... Have you ever thought about that? No. No? All right. I'm big what? on achievement. Say that one more time. Big on achievement. I know at least seven listeners right now are so excited that you just said that. Um, what if I said... What if I said... He is calling you to obey. That got me to thinking. Actually, it got me sad if I keep it 1,000. Because mm. that's all God want? Like, I've been failing... Uh-huh. Not because I haven't hit the success. I've been failing. I've been crip- I've been crippling myself and making him sad because he's giving me tasks not for me to fail or pass, but he's giving me these tasks simply for me to obey. Mm. My part of the puzzle is to obey. Your part of the puzzle is to obey. Whether you succeed or fail is on him to determine. Mm. You too busy wanting to succeed for Nene and them, and they ain't got no power. Okay. But my question to you, Miss Say Yes, and mm-hmm. my question to y'all listening, will you accept that? That God is calling you to obey. He's not call. He's not necessarily always calling you to succeed. Proverbs 5 through 6 says it best. Lean not to your own understanding, but trust him in all, all, all. Shout out to the A-Town. Not some of them, not partially, but all thanks. You know what I'm saying? So if Proverbs says it, lean not to your own understanding. Mmm. Matthew 6, 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. We're going to plan for success. We got to do it the right way. 
Mm -hmm. All right. First, we got to do, we have to, the very first thing that we got to do, we got to define the goal. We got to. If we don't know what we doing, we just running around like a chicken with his head off. It's still a struggle, though, even when you are obeying. Um, it's still a struggle. It is. Well, All right. So, so, let, let me, progress. so let me put it this way, then. This is what I want us to do for this week, all right? So okay. we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or whenever you listen to this podcast, follow it each day. Day one, I want you to define the goal. Whether it's mm -hmm. personal, whether it's your business, whether it's your job, or any other area, take an area, define the goal. Second thing I need you to do, I need you to think about what you're going to evaluate. I want you to pick four things. You know I like things in fours. Four for the founders. What about two? Oh, I'm the Duke, so y'all already know, but we we overachievers here in and found, found we in November. Like this is the month that the greatest fraternity on earth was founded. Like, come on now. We we fall for the founders. We can't be selfish. Can't be selfish. The third, also on day three, what I need you to do is I need you to understand that success comes through systems. I need us to create some systems. So since we already the day before, we already know what we're evaluating. It makes it easier for us to make some make systems to evaluate. But if you try to jump from one to three, you're gonna have a very hard time. And then the last day, I want you to just look over. And I want you to think about it and say, say to yourself, what does God need me to just do? You hurting yourself. You delaying the process, you delaying the progress. Your wife, your queen, your king, your everything, your next vehicle. Your next speaking engagement, whatever it may be, it might literally be one obey away. Your queen be right there. Y'all just gonna be obeying. Y'all be wanting to do what y'all wanna do. Y'all queen be right there. Listen. Lady, I got y'all on this one. Listen. I'm always trying to make it seem like, you know, no. Be right there. They don't be acting right. Listen, man, we we, we out here, man. We we outside. We outside, man. I just seen this post on uh I just seen this post. Matter of fact, before we came on set, I just saw this post about fam this woman said, Fam you debt has been paid in full. It only took years to it only took ten years for you to deliver them to me. So I guess you don't found her a rat look. Like you say, he had a mission, I guess. Goal. It took us 10 years. God bless that sister. You know, I don't know. I got to read that story um, before I, I come in on that. Hey, try to make comments and don't, don't, even, don't even know the Kool-Aid that we drinking. But I'm super excited to get That's into this. old Kool-Aid, but okay. What you mean? I'm super excited. <laughs> uh, it took us a decade, but okay. See, y'all judging. Y'all don't even know what's going on. Y'all go, yeah. I'm going to share that story on the uh, Faith, Fitness, and Flow podcast. Uh, so y'all, y'all be looking for that. It's I'm gonna do it. Matter of fact, while she's sharing this, I'm a, I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna say yes. Give y'all the fake the fitness report. I'm gonna post that on there. I'm so when y'all watch this, it'll be right in there. You know, love is love. You know, she found it when she was able to get it, but that's a long time, sis. Well, it might have just been from graduation. She might have graduated. And then, oh, but that's young. You know, you graduate really young, and then you know, and then she like found most it. most marriages last. Um, when you get married, like in your thir no, no offense to anybody that got married, like in their twenties or nothing like that, you guys will be married forever. But for those that get married, like thirties and older, or whatever, you know, this steady show that you you stay married. So um, that's just you know maybe they might have met two years ago and found out that they was both rattlers. So now it's a rattler story. Ten okay. years. Later. Okay. Nah, She's rat not yo, nah, rattlers always be trying to hate on rattlers like. <laughs> They, I'm not. God, no, everything I'm not hating on nobody. Rattlers I'm, do it I'm, I'm getting I, my my first marriage will be later in life, and I'm thankful for it because it's going to last. Hey, future husband, where are you at? Um, yeah. So that's that steady show that it'll last. Hey, hmm. hold up, fellas. fellas. Y'all, y'all notice it? It must be it must be Atlanta winning because before we get in this, Miss Say Yes is always talking about being taken and this and that. Y'all caught that? 
She's glowing. Okay. Miss Say Yes is good. She's Listen, good. everybody in Atlanta, the women right now are excited. Y'all don't want a championship. 95 might have been a great year for men. Listen, y'all better add. It was good before the championship. The championship <laughs> just added to the glow. Okay. All right. That well, part. Hmm. Don't, don't ever. Well, give us give us some tips so we can meditate. <laughs> Okay, so I had an amazing, thank you so much guys for giving me um, some su suggestions for my future wellness um, updates. And so this week we're going to talk about meditation. This came from one of our, our loyal listeners and it comes from the New York Times. Hello, my fellow Yankee up there to my upper left corner. <laughs> um, this comes from the New York Times and it's how to meditate. So I will say before we get into the article, um, one of the best apps to download if you are looking to meditate or calm your mom, mind is the Calm app. So go to your app store, Android users or Apple users, loyal Apple users, ask myself. Um, go ahead and download. Okay. Did okay, you say store? Apple. You say store? <laughs> okay. oh, oh, my bad. You're talking about Calm app. My bad. I thought you were talking about bit.ly forward slash all in shop, in shop, and, and get your your gear there. I'm sorry, my bad. Get all your gear, get all, all all of it, all of it, all all of it there. Okay, so go shop, and then after you go shop, I want you to download the um, Calm app so that you can get that calm that you that inner peace that you're looking for. We have so much going on in the world, Atlanta right now. We're on a complete high for winning this world championship but before that we were under a lot of stress still under a lot of stress but we needed this win more than ever so um we now, are so thankful uh, the calm app like the one yeah that calm c-a-l-m you're going to download it okay and you're going to get your piece your inner piece i've tried this app back in the day yeah. like i heard this the same one lebron and then be talking about yes Oh, so this is like a real thing. This ain't like a, this it's a real thing. Hmm. It's a real thing. And it works. I used it um, years ago. I haven't used it recently, I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. Um, I use a different app, and you guys can hit me up in DM if you want to know what other app I, I use for, like, you know, positivity or whatever. But um, the Calm app, I used it when I used to work at the Autism Center. You know, I saw a lot while I was there. And I needed every bit of Calm I could get. <laughs> when I was working in Atlanta area um, years ago. So um, thank God that that has passed. But I definitely, that that app definitely helped me remain calm while working under those distressed situations um, at that time. Um, but back to the New York Times. Uh, so the, the good thing about meditating is that it, for one, we all know it helps reduce stress. Right. And increase that calmness and that clarity. It promotes it promotes happiness within. And the best thing about it is it allows you to take a deep breath and just relax. So just breathe in. <sighs> and breathe out. Oh my goodness. We need to relax. We have so oh, can much. Can we practice that together? Miss A, can we practice that together? <laughs> like y'all, y'all. <laughs> So let's take a deep breath. <sighs> and we're going to breathe out and we're just going to relax. And those of you that actually like people touching you, you know, because that is a thing. Um, for those that go to get a massage, a lot of times our masseuse um, will tell us to take a deep breath before they start our massage. Just to kind of relax us and and things like that so i did go get a massage last week shouts out to my interesting new massage therapist who i will also be changing soon but that's another story for another podcast um, <laughs> so you want to take that deep breath you I'll want to them. don't say their name they ain't gave us no money yet i will never say their name actually just quick long story short my masseuse quit and i found out after my massage with the new massage therapist and it was a, still a great massage, but I still changed my masseuse for the next one. But anyway, yeah, so we're good. We're great. We're great. She's she's relaxed. But yeah. Okay. 
yeah so that happened like this week but anyway <laughs> we want to train our attention we want to center our mind and most of all this is something i learned um from a family member who is a life coach who had a uh, amazing event three years ago and she gifted us this journal at the end of her event it was a mindfulness journal so what meditation does is it allows us to tap into that mindfulness okay. understanding what causes our stress and what we can do to relieve that so thank you so much to our loyal listeners that gave you this idea thank you to like look into a meditation article and um the new york times was an amazing article that definitely tapped into all the things that we all know that we need to do but once again it's just that reminder you know so um thank you for allowing me to look deeper into that and you guys go download that calm app because it does work i used it years ago i don't have to use it now but i've used it years a goal for you know a stressful work environment that i was working in and it definitely helped so yeah go download that and um breathe in and breathe out this week and relax and let me know how that goes okay listen i you just made me calm like, <laughs> Thank like you. got me sitting here it like fun uh I had a good time. Like that was, you know, calm. Like, is it free? Hold up, hold up. For, for me. Is it free? Maybe the first time you download it. I don't know if things have changed. Like I said, it's been some years. It may have changed because it's so popular. So many celebrities and so many people have tapped into it. So it might be a charge now. So sorry, you guys, if they are charging you. But um, at the time when I did use it, it was free. So use it till it's free if it's still free. You know, I, they might be charging because it is just that popular now. Would it be it's worth not, it? Huh? Would it be worth it? It is worth it. I used it in a stressful work environment and it kept me from turning it up. So, or going to that that extra level of craziness because I was in a extremely toxic work environment before leaving to go off to other positions. So, um, definitely use it. It definitely worked. Um, if not, the New York Times article was more than enough. Reducing stress, increasing calmness, clarity, taking that deep breath, training your um, our attention and centering our mind, you know, practicing mindfulness, just just meditate, just take that time for yourself to relax, relate, relate, and you will be just fine. Mm, okay? Mm, mm. Free. Yeah. Free. <laughs> I love you. Y'all, yeah. it's week 46. We gave y'all some tasks. What y'all need to do this week? as we plan for success. This year is not over. It's 46 of 52, not 52 of 52. So we wanna thank y'all for watching and or listening. Please make certain that y'all like this one right here. Hit the like button. Make certain you subscribe. Make certain you share it with at least one person. All right? Help us out, y'all. Y'all already know. It's your boy, Mr. All In. It's your girl. Miss Say Yes. <laughs> it's the Face Fitness and Flow podcast. Y'all come on over to Instagram. Let's continue this conversation. We out this day, y'all. Till next time.